Hi guys, shooting for fun here. We got our last of our uh, Smith & Wesson m and series review that we're doing here. And this is our m and Shield 45. It is a 45 caliber. Uh, you can see the barrel there. It's a pretty good side barrel there. This is a uh, surprisingly still a lightweight gun. It has a good grip, good feel to it. Um, it is also a, a relatively easy concealed carry. It does fit well into an inner waistband holster, as well as the outside holsters as well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do a little quick clean on it. You always want to, yeah, some big bullets there, take your magazine out. We want to rack our slide, make sure that we have no shell in there. We rack our slide back, and again with the Smith & Wesson m and series here, we have our little quick takedown lever. We release our slide, and like the Glocks on the 9mm here, what we have to do is you have to actually fire it, and it releases the slide. Okay, And just like our 9, we have our recoil spring, our barrel, four parts. Really easy to clean. Okay, very easy takedown, very easy cleaning. Um, that's one of the features why I looked into these guns. There, I, I always when I look at the gun, I want to see how easy it is to to clean. A lot of people, that's not really a, an issue because they don't really clean their guns that often. Like I said, if you want to do a little more thorough cleaning, you can pull down on your uh, on that plastic piece inside there on your firing pin, and you can pull this rear cap off. You can pull your firing pin out and spring air and clean that as well. Okay. What I do is I just run my cleaning cloth. Just through all the, the parts there, and like I said, you can take and run it up through your magazine well and clean it as well. Okay. And then I always start, like I said, with the barrel. And I use my uh, Remington, this is the rim oil. Um, you can pick these up at most any gun shop, Walmart, you know, any, any kind of uh, department store there that has the uh, sporting goods section. And I take my 45 snake here, boar snake. Now this is also for 410, so it does work for the 45 or the 410 shotguns as well. And you pull it through. And what I usually do is I always make just a couple of passes just to... And you look down through there and make sure that your barrel is good and clean. Okay. Now, like I said, these boar snakes, these are the great way to go. It beats having to get the rod out and connect the rod and put the little pads on there. And then you got to hook the pad, pull the pads, got to take the pads off, put new pads in and clean. You know, this is just so much quicker and easier. Okay. All right, so now what we do is we take our liquid rim oil that we have here. It's a, same thing, it's in the spray can. And we'll start to lube our parts up here. And what I do is, I just take it along the inside of the slide. And because you want to make the inside where the extractor piece is here. I just run it up down the length of the slide here. Okay, and then I run a little bit on that inside ramp there to the barrel. And 
And then we'll do our rack here, our slide. And if you can notice the little shiny parts here on the slide, that's just where it, the metal it rides on it there. So you want to make sure that you get that part really good because that's where it, it will ride on. And you want to make sure that you do get it, you know, good and clean. Sometimes you may have to go through several Q-tips if it's really dirty. Okay. Then we grab our barrel. Slide our barrel back in. We slide our recoil spring back in. Slide this back onto our rack here. Lock the rack back. And usually why I have it locked back, that's when I'll clean my recoil spring while it's already, the spring is retracted so it's easier to get to. Put our takedown lever back down. And we're, we're good to go. Okay. If you notice what I just did there, I did pull the trigger on that when you rack it. That means that it's, it's racked and you normally have, would have a shell in there and it's ready to fire. When I store my guns, I just click that back just to release the firing pin. Wipe off any residual. I clean my mags. I reload my bullets. And you're ready for your next shoot. Okay. And this is our M&P series here. This is our 45 shield. Um, this is a great gun if you want a little more uh, concealed carry kick it does fit nice into the hands um, it's still pretty lightweight it does have a little bit of a kick but you'd expect that with a 45 but it's really accurate it's a really good gun and like I said they take apart they get easy to clean uh, this one has the manual safety as, as all of my series do um, that's just an extra little feature I like. Uh, and this is a really great gun. And I'm shooting for fun. Thanks for watching, guys.